Today we're embarking on a thrilling journey through the latest triumphs of China's space program and examining how it's shaping up to challenge the United States in the new space race. As we dive into the details of China's ambitious lunar missions and their broader strategic vision for space exploration, on June 25th, 2024, history was made. China's robotic Chang'e 6 spacecraft successfully delivered samples of rock and soil back to Earth from the moon's South Pole Aitken Basin. This mission marks a significant milestone with Chang'e 6 collecting around 1.9 kilograms of lunar material from the moon's far side, specifically from the southern rim of the Apollo crater. This incredible achievement demonstrates China's growing capabilities in space exploration, but this mission is just a piece of a much larger and highly ambitious puzzle. The moon's south pole is designated as the future site for the China-led International Lunar Research Station, or ILRS. This grand international endeavor involves partners like Russia, Venezuela, South Africa, and Egypt, and is coordinated by an emerging ad hoc international space agency. China has a strategic vision to build a thriving space economy and become the global leader in space exploration. Their plan involves not only exploring, but also extracting valuable minerals from asteroids and other celestial bodies. They aim to utilize resources like water ice to support sustainable operations in space. China's roadmap is as impressive as it is ambitious. They plan to start with the moon, then move on to near-Earth objects, NEOs, followed by Mars, the main belt asteroids between Mars and Jupiter, and eventually Jupiter's moons. They will utilize stable gravitational points in space, known as Lagrange points for their space stations, creating a network of strategic outposts throughout the solar system. One of the next major milestones in this grand strategy is the Chang'e 7 mission, expected to launch in 2026. This mission aims to land on the illuminated rim of the moon's Shackleton Crater, near the lunar South Pole. The Shackleton Crater's rim is an ideal landing site due to its constant illumination. This feature not only offers a stable source of solar power, but also provides easy access to the crater's interiors. These shadowed craters hold vast reserves of water ice, a crucial resource for the ILRS. Water from these reserves can be used for drinking, oxygen production, and even rocket fuel. However, the Shackleton Crater is also a prime target for the United States. NASA's Artemis program, despite facing delays, aims to establish bases at the moon's south pole. Artemis II, now scheduled for September 2025, will carry astronauts around the moon while Artemis III, planned for no earlier than 2026, aims to land humans on the lunar surface. While these timelines might shift, China's momentum appears strong. Some experts speculate that China could potentially land humans on the moon by 2030, possibly even before the United States. Geopolitics plays a significant role in this new space race. China's space program is growing systematically and consistently with fewer reported technical issues compared to other space ventures. Their current space station, Tian Gong, or Heavenly Palace, is operational at an average altitude of 400 kilometers. Plans are in place to have it permanently inhabited by at least three Taikonauts by the end of the decade. By the time this happens, the International Space Station, ISS, orbiting at the same altitude will be decommissioned and sent on a fiery descent into the Pacific Ocean. This shift marks a pivotal moment in space exploration dynamics. The U.S. Artemis III mission and China's Chang'e 7 and 8 missions could potentially target the same landing sites near Shackleton Crater, setting the stage for a fascinating geopolitical interaction in space. This scenario necessitates a new era of space diplomacy. 
Both superpowers, along with their international partners, will need to exchange plans and agree on common principles for lunar exploration. While maintaining national priorities, collaboration will be essential to avoid conflicts and ensure the sustainable use of lunar resources. China's journey from launching its first satellite, Dongfang Hong-1, in 1970, to becoming a major player in space exploration today is nothing short of remarkable. This progress highlights the country's commitment to advancing its capabilities and establishing a strong presence in space. China's Tiangong Space Station is a testament to this commitment. Operational and set to be permanently inhabited by the end of the decade, Tiangong represents a significant leap forward. Meanwhile, the ISS, which has been a symbol of international cooperation in space for decades, is nearing the end of its operational life. The future of space exploration will be shaped by these developments. As China and the U.S. pursue their respective lunar goals, the potential for cooperation and competition will define this new era of space exploration. The U.S. Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the moon this decade, is a critical component of NASA's long-term plans. Despite facing technical delays, the program is moving forward with a clear vision. Similarly, China's Chang'e missions are systematically laying the groundwork for sustained lunar exploration and potential human settlement. As both nations target the moon's south pole, the Shackleton Crater becomes a focal point of interest. The potential for resource extraction, particularly water ice, makes this location highly valuable. This competition for lunar real estate could drive significant advancements in space technology and exploration strategies. However, it also underscores the need for diplomatic dialogue. The Artemis Accords, established in 2020, outline principles for the peaceful use of lunar resources. To date, 43 countries have signed these accords, signaling a commitment to international cooperation in space. As China advances its ILRS initiative, similar agreements and frameworks will be crucial to managing shared interests and avoiding conflicts. China's progress in space is a testament to its systematic and integrated approach. While the U.S. continues to lead in certain areas, the emergence of China as a formidable space power introduces a dynamic element to the future of space exploration. Stay tuned to Space Pioneers for more updates on this fascinating new chapter in space exploration. We'll continue to follow these developments closely, providing you with the latest news and insights. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.